Well, imagine, of course, was um, a prayer, a wish, a vision. But more than that, it was a belief. It's one thing to wish for things and imagine. You know, we can all sit around and say, gee, it would be nice to be in a world where nobody is hungry and everybody is educated and everybody has a roof over their head. Uh, with John, it wasn't just about throwing it out, but it was about trying to take the world and turn it into a better place. Imagine was his vision of a concept of all of us living together, getting rid of the passport office, uh, doing away with countries, and because when you have a country, you have to have a border. When you have a border, you have to protect it. If you have to protect it, you have to have an army. If you have to have an army, you've got to get soldiers. If you have soldiers, you've got to give them guns. I mean, it's a, there's a domino effect to all of it. So if he thought of imagining new countries, the intriguing thing is, I remember when Neil Armstrong um, uh, landed on the moon, one of the things that he said is that from that perspective, looking back at this tiny little planet, uh, there were no countries, there were no borders. As we speak, they're creating an international space station. We're all together in this program. Um, Every one of the lines of that song was a vision or a concept of how John thought life could be better for all of us. Yoko has a, um, a phrase that she uses when she says, think globally, but act locally. That you change the entire planet first by changing yourself, your relationship to the one that you're with, the ones you love, your family, your neighbor, the people in your street corner, the people in your community, people in your local city, your state, and you just keep sending it out. You keep throwing the pebbles in the stream, and this rippling effect eventually transforms everything that it touches. Uh, that is her belief. Um, John tossed some pebbles in the universal pond of change. And it's the nature of ripples, if you study them, that some move quicker than others. And sometimes the energy runs out and the ripple doesn't move at all. And it's necessary to throw another pebble in. Is the world a better place today than it was in the 60s and the 70s when John and Yoko were hypothesizing about giving peace a chance, etc.? Well, I imagine one can have intellectual discussions about uh, civil wars going on in Africa as we speak. But as a whole, for planet Earth, for most of the people on it, at the risk of sounding naive, I think the world is a somewhat better place. And I'm convinced that John Lennon had a little something to do with making it that way.